Today only, get all five volumes of Womanies Audio, all five Womanies eBooks, How to Master the Game Audio, How to Build a Quality Woman from the Ground Up, The Gold Digger Guide, and The Shit Test Guide absolutely free with the purchase of a CME virtual ticket. That's over $1,000 in courses free. Link in description and up above. Um, so <clears throat> what I'm going to discuss uh, this afternoon, uh, a couple of real quick, a uh, couple of quick things. Um, TK Kirkland uh, was on Vlad TV. This, uh, this video actually posted yesterday. And uh, TK, you know, quizzed... Uh, or Vlad quizzed TK Kirkland about Kevin Samuels, his stance, his message, et cetera, et cetera. And um, <clears throat> his response was a little bit, his response was a little surprising to me. Um, TK Kirkland, he keeps it all the way real, man. He keeps it 100. Like he's one of the dudes out here who actually tells, he, tell, he tells it like it is. Now he focuses mainly on men as far as I know, Right. He tells guys what to stay away from. He doesn't pull punches, but his response to Kevin Samuels was a little, it was a little perplexing. Uh, so let's take a look and uh, listen. You know, you know, women, people could say, if he can't buy you a Birkin bag, kick him to the curb. But if I just happen to say that you are the, you, that you weigh more than men at your height, that's offensive. When did we become that world? Well, it's offensive for men who like, a certain type of woman some men are into bbws They're right some men are into bbws so let me let me start all over again some men are into bbws yes vlad tv is absolutely right some men are into bbws but the kinds of men who are into bbws are men who cannot attract women who are not bbws high value men high value men. yes fair use fair use fair use get all that out of the way high value men are not chubby chasers high value men don't chase BBWs. Never have, never will. Never have, never will. If you're a man of status, if you have wealth, if you have some clout, if you make money, if you have options in women, you will not prefer BBWs. The men who prefer BBWs are men of low value, men of questionable sound. There is a whole market for that. Really? Right? Show me where the high yeah. value men after the high value go after BBWs as the norm crickets. I need a crickets sound effect. Well, see, there you go, right? There you go. Vlad is like, well, you know, some men prefer BBWs and Kevin didn't jump down his throat. Kevin said, all right, that, listen, that, that's fine. Kevin didn't disagree. But then he said, okay, well, show me the high value men. Show me the high value men who are with BBWs. Crickets. Listen. I mean, that's a good point. That's, that's the a point. Good point. See, we're, we're, not, we're, so, argue that part. We're, we're, we're so used to doing this, this, this PC kabuki dance <laughs> that is confusing women. That's why, why do women call into my show? I love that PC kabuki dance. I've never heard that before. That's funny. Because they've been told by so many charlatans, so many people telling them you can have it all. Uh, Derek Jackson. But then they go out into their world, they're in life and they're like, I'm not getting the outcomes or results. That's why I have more women calling in saying, thank you. I had a woman last night breaking the tears saying, you saved my marriage. It's interesting. All right, so now uh, TK Kirkland. There we go. So I know that I can, I know I can control the volume a little bit better here. And again, guys, I do apologize. Um, I just, I added a few more bells and whistles. Added a few more bells and whistles. So I'm trying to... Um, there we go. Okay, there we go. Now we're looking good. So now I can increase my decibels. We'll get to it, guys. I promise. I just need to... Um, I just want to make sure that I can still have the same intonation and the same voice inflections without having to screen... without having to scream into the mic. So He, he was talking about how uh, he told a woman that she's built like a linebacker who... Give me a second, guys. ...as the norm. I mean, that's a good point. That's, that's the a point. Good point. See, we, we're, not, we're, so, we're, we're, we're so used to doing this, this, this PC kabuki dance <laughs> that is confusing women. That's why, why do women call into my show? Because they've been told by so many charlatans, so many people tell them you can have it all, but then they go out into their world, they're in life, and they're like, I'm not getting the outcomes or results. That's why I have more women calling in saying, thank you. That's right. I had a woman last night breaking the tears saying, you saved my marriage. It's interesting. Here's my take on that. 
Let's hear it. Cause I'm listening to you, and and I travel almost every day. I look at different relationships, and I look at people, and I study them. And I even saw a couple of his um, interviews. My take on is not what you say, it's how you say it. Negative. TK. Negative. This isn't to say that TK is incorrect in that it's not what you say, it's how you say it. No, 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 uh uh, no. It's not what you say, it's that you said it. I'll give you guys an example. I'll give you guys an example. When LeBron James, back in the back in the summer of 2010, when he announced that he was taking his talents to South Beach and joining the Miami Heat, a lot of people didn't like that. It rubbed them the wrong way. Now, they asked people, "Well, why are you so upset with LeBron for leaving?" Cleveland Cavaliers fans didn't really have a reason to be upset with LeBron. LeBron had been with the Cavaliers for seven years. And the Cavaliers made it very clear to him through their actions that they're not going to spend money to get big-time free agents. They got him Shaquille O'Neal one year. He was way on the back end of his career. I think they had Antoine Jameson for another, for another year. Delonte West. LeBron never had another superstar. Like, listen, there's Jordan Pippen, uh, uh, Magic, hell, Magic and Kareem, right? There's always been these dynamic duos. So LeBron decided to change the landscape of the NBA. It's because of LeBron. That's the reason why super teams exist. Right? So when they ask Cleveland Cavaliers fans, why are you so upset with LeBron? Like, what's what's the big deal? Well, I'm not mad at him for leaving. It's just the way he did it. No, that's false. It's That's false. It's not, listen, you're not pissed off about the way he did it. You're pissed off that he did it. That's like a guy saying, well, you know what? Um, <clears throat> Stephanie broke up with me two days ago. But you know what? I can't really. I was feeling some type of way, but I said, you know what? She really did that the right way. She really, you know, her, her attitude was good. Her, her voice intonation, everything was good. So you know what? I'm not upset at all that she broke up with me because of the way she said it. No, no. It is absolutely positively that he said it. Anybody who uses the it's not what you say, it's how you say it argument. And again, listen, no slight on TK, but that is a very feminine way to combat something. It's very feminine. Anybody who says it's what you say, it's not what you say, it's how you say it, what they're doing is they're trying to argue a logical fact with feelings. A fact is a fact. It doesn't matter how you say it. Now, does it make a difference at times? Sure. But in terms of what Kevin Samuels talks about, it doesn't matter how sweet or or how uh, non-invasive he tries to be. He's still going, he is still going to have these women feel in some type of way. And that's all there is to it. Right? The thing about a female, what men have to understand, you have to get into a female psyche. Right? No. Because you can't destroy them. They're already feeling fucked up already. They're, they are Women are truly a unique species on this earth that you... Okay, so now TK is searching. He's searching. He doesn't want to come across as agreeing with Kevin Samuels, but by the same token, he wants to add a little bit of his spin in there. The fact that he says females are a unique species, no, they're not. No, there's nothing special about women, gentlemen. Guys, listen, get this through your thick skulls, guys. Get this through your thick skulls. Women are not special. Girls are people too, okay? There's nothing mysterious or, or otherworldly about women, no. Women are as simple as wooden doors. The typical woman is about as simple as a picnic table. They're not these complex, mysterious. No, uh, uh-uh. uh. And when we start using language like, well, they're these, they're these, uh, this a unique species. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Now, women are capable of some great things if they are with the right man. But there's nothing unique or special about women. Can hurt them, or you can build them. You can make them or you could destroy them what i see that women come on there women who have made bad choices hold up what did he say they are women are truly a unique species on Mm -hmm. this earth that you can hurt them or you can build them you can make them or you could destroy them what i see that women come on there women who have made bad choices Mm -hmm. right 
women who had to pick from their environment. Oh, God. Meaning. Okay, so now TK, let's go back to what TK said earlier. He essentially said, you can't destroy women. You have to build them up. Uh, TK, I don't know if you have been paying attention, but we've been trying to build up women for the last 60 plus years. You want to know something? You don't know what we've gotten from women from trying to build them up? Men trying to build up women. What have we gotten? We've got a collective fuck you. We don't need you. A woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle and so on and so forth. Listen, man, we tried building women up. We tried building them up. All they do is laugh at us and tell us that we're wrong. And then we got guys like Derek Jackson, Matthew Hussey, who try to build women up. Where's that getting them? Hmm? Derek Jackson builds women up. Show me one Derek Jackson disciple who is in a long-term relationship of consequence with a, with, with a man who respects and loves her as much as she loves and respects him. I'll wait. I'll wait. And the reason why is because building women up Listen, we can certainly build women up. You, you want to know how I build up Devin? I make her part of my business. I hire her personal trainer. I give her everything she needs to live a good, comfortable life in exchange for her sexual loyalty and deference and all that good stuff. That's how you build women up. Okay? That's the real way to build women up. The way TK is, so, is, is suggesting that we build women up is just fill their head full of crap. Right? There's nothing wrong with you, girl. You're beautiful just the way you are. Unconditional love. Blah, 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 blah. No, it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit, man. We've been trying to build women up for, for the last six and a half decades. It hasn't worked, TK. It has not worked. So guess what? Guess what? Now we got to let them know what's really up. We got to let them know what's really up. And this is, exact, this is exactly what Kevin Samuels does. Kevin Samuels pulls no punches. He gives zero fucks at this point. He's not, dude, he's not trying to smash these broads that are, that are, that are, that are, that are you know, that are, that are calling into a show. He's got no sexual interest in these broads. And a funny thing happens when a man does not have sexual interest in a woman funny thing happens. He actually starts to tell the truth. Funny how that works, all right? I remember Myron and Fresh of the Fresh and Fit podcast. Shout out to those guys. In the beginning, when they were having the girls in, they'd be smashing some of the girls. Listen, this is typical because I would probably do that too, right? I would probably, listen, man, if I'm having girls, listen, I'm probably smashing them. But what Myron figured, I said, like, wait a minute, wait a minute. When we smash these chicks, we're not as, we're not as authentic with them on the air. So let's stop smashing these broads. Let's stop smashing these broads and see what happens. They've got over 300,000 subscribers now because now Myra can look a broad in the face and be like, no, you're wrong. And if she, gets out of, if she gets out of pocket, guess what? Frank Castle comes out. Get the fuck out. He's not trying to smash these broads, so guess what? He can be truthful with them. Now, when you can be truthful with a broad you're trying to smash, that is the very definition of game. The very definition of game. If you ain't traveling the world and meeting these kind of men and you in the hood... You're going to meet hood motherfuckers. It's just the way it is, back, right? So mm -hmm. you Hold pick up. and choose. You ain't that you, they're already feeling fucked up. Hold up. Somebody said in the chat, uh, Dave, none your business, says, honestly, he looks scared. I think he, I think he's a little bit, I think, I think, I think TK is a little bit out of his element when it comes to Kevin Samuels, right? Listen, TK's a smart guy. We all know this. He's got nothing on Kevin. And it, it, it just, just by the look on his face, he looks overmatched. He looks overmatched. Like, what can I say to or about Kevin Samuels that doesn't necessarily agree with him? I don't want to kowtow to him, but I got to add my little spin on it. He really looks like he was, he looks like he's been thrown a little bit of a curveball. Could be wrong, but I doubt it. Up already. They, they are, women are truly a unique species on this earth that you can hurt them or you can build them. You can make them or you could destroy them. What I see that women come. Listen to this. When they're women who have made bad choices. Right. Right. Women who had to pick from their environment. And there's where he's wrong. Let him continue watch. Meaning if you ain't traveling the world and meeting these kind of men. Okay. So. So a woman makes bad decisions, right? And listen, man, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. I went to I went to college with one of the dude, one of the sweetest girls I've ever met. Her name is Summer. She now lives in Key West. She's got like nine kids. She was a virgin when she got to school. Okay? One of the guys we hung out with, he smashed her. He smashed her for a week and then pretty much just ghosted her. 
Summer was crushed. She honestly thought she was going to be with our friend Greg forever. She really thought that, right? She ended up, I think she ended up graduating college. Now she's married, seven kids, nine kids, whatever. The point is, is I'll give, I'll give Summer the benefit of the doubt here, guys. She made a mistake. She was young and dumb. It is what it is. Listen, man, same with modern women, right? Like, even if, and I'm not trying to make excuses for them at all. Like, I, you know, I totally get it. But, listen, if you're a single mom, that's on you. I guess maybe I can give kind of the benefit of the doubt, just depending upon whatever the circumstances are, right? Maybe there were some extenuating circumstances that I wasn't aware of. Like, I don't know, you forgot to wear condoms. Or, listen, who knows? Who knows what happened? I'll give it, listen, I'll give anybody, I'll give anybody a second chance. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to date a chick with a kid, but listen, we all, we all fuck up. We get that. But, uh, when you got bitches out here running around with three kids, with three baby daddies, no, that's not a, that, that's not a bad decision, TK. These are bad habits, right? Women make bad decisions because women have bad habits. End of discussion. End of discussion. And now he's trying, he's trying to take the blame off women. Well... The only reason why these women have all these kids by all these niggas is because they in the hood. When all you have to choose from is ain't shit niggas because you ain't traveling, what you expect? Nah, fam. Mm -mm. Nope. He's not holding them accountable. He's giving them excuses. And you in the hood, you're going to meet hood motherfuckers. It's just the way it is, right? So mm -hmm. you pick and choose what's around you. You pick and choose what's around you. Uh, I'm sorry. Um... I mean, listen, somebody, maybe I missed the memo. Maybe I missed the memo. Are, is there not cell phone service in the hood? Like, somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. Are there not cell phone towers that reach the neighborhood? Right? Are hood rats running around without smartphones? So you mean to tell me that because there's no cell phone service in the projects, in the hood, whatever heights, whatever manner, that because of that, they're only smashing the niggas around it because those are the only niggas? No, of course not, TK. Of course not. The dating market is globalized, meaning every woman with a smartphone has access to every kind of man. You don't have to travel to meet men around the world anymore, TK. So he can miss me with that excuse as well. What? Because they, because they don't have the opportunities to meet good men? No. No, no. Listen, girls have opportunities to meet high-value men all the time. It's not their fault, or it's not the high value man's fault that these girls don't make they don't they don't make the grade. Well, I've got I've got a smartphone, and I'm not with a high value man. Well, of course not. You're 240 pounds. You got four kids by three different niggas. Of course you're not gonna be high value. No one's dude. No one's gonna mess with you like that. TK is and I and this is what's surprising about this is that TK is usually he usually holds these people accountable. Like he usually he usually keeps it one hundred, but now he's sitting here telling us that the reason. The reason modern women make these bad decisions is because they're in an environment where they're not able to make good decisions? No, nah, not buying that. What we have to do, and, and what we say, we got to teach women to make better choices. How, TK? How? How do we teach women to make better choices? <clears throat> hmm? How do we teach women to make better choices? Because we've been trying to teach these women to make better choices, again, for 60 years. And they keep getting worse and worse and worse. It's not up to us <laughs> to teach women to make better choices. It's really not. You can teach a woman to make better choices if she happens to have a few qualities that might make her viable for a trainee, maybe, to be in a long-term relationship, maybe, right? But other than that, I'm not trying to teach women. I'm not, dude, I'm not trying. Dude, listen, man, I'm not trying to be Iyanla. I'm not trying to be Oprah. I'm not trying to be Steve Harvey. Uh-uh. Just like Sweet Brown said, ain't nobody got time for that, man. I got shit to do. I got a legacy to build. I got money to make. I got places to go, people to see. I got events. To, I, dude, I've got events to take care of. I'm not. I'm not teaching women shit. Look, man. Look. If you're a woman, and that's this is especially in this country. Women born in the United States, they have it so good. Females in the United States live the best lives of any class of human on the planet in history. They have every conceivable advantage one could possibly imagine. The best schools, the best, well, 
some of the best universities. If you happen to make a mistake and have three kids by three different dudes, guess what? Free room and board, free food, free health care, right? Women have all of these advantages, guys, all of these advantages, and they still fuck it up. They still mess it up, man. We Listen, the more we give women, the more they want, the worse they get. That's how this goes. I can't believe TK is sitting here making excuses for women. I would never expect this from someone like him. I really wouldn't. Oh. You still can have sex, but don't have no baby. You still can date, but don't fall in love. Don't let no man move into your home. These are the things that we have to teach. <laughs> have sex, just don't have no babies, right? You can still get it in, just don't have any babies. TK, how was that helping women? How was that helping women? What do you tell your 15-year-old daughter? Listen, you can have sex, just don't have no babies. No. Abstinence. You tell your 15, 16-year-old daughter, hey, look, check this out. I know you're starting to get urges, and I know boys are looking at you in a certain kind of way, but trust and believe. The very first time you give him your flower, your expiration date draws ever closer. The more, the more boys, the more men you share your body with, the more miserable you're going to be. You're going to develop mental problems, right? Unwanted pregnancies. What happens if you, what's hap what happens if you get pregnant, Susie? Then what's going to happen? Because hmm? I'm not going to take care of her, right? Are you kidding me with this? You got to be kidding me with this. You can have sex, just don't have no babies. The women, because yes, in your heart, you want, oh, I want this great man. But ladies, if you don't listen to what me and this man, Vlad, is saying, you can't teach your children because you've already made the mistake. You can't teach your daughters the right thing because they're going to make the same mistake. Like, <clears throat> This is very surprising. TK is, dude, he's one of the sharpest guys I've seen on YouTube. And he looks, and he looks, he just, he looks in over his head. Like, I've never seen him so hesitant. So, this is disappointing, man. Take two. So, you want your daughters to have fun. Don't mismanage your pussy, I call it. Get your life together. Stack your money. And that way you can travel this world and pick the kind of man you want to date when you're about 29, 30 years old. I'm sorry. Say what? Together, stack your money. And that way you can travel this world mm -hmm. and pick the kind of man you want to date when you're about 29, 30 years old. TK, what the fuck are we doing, man? What the hell are we doing? Have sex, but don't have babies, right? Have sex, but don't have babies. Somebody put it in the chat. Do drugs, just don't get addicted, <laughs> right? So this dude is sitting here telling us, he's sitting here telling us that the way to do this is we have to teach women how to make better decisions. I'm not going to teach them abstinence. I'm just going to tell them not have any babies, right? Well, guess what? There are a lot of women running around who don't have kids who are destroyed for life, right? They've got notch counts into the triple, sometimes even quadruple digits. Just because they don't have any children does not mean that they're not still miserable, right? How many, listen, how many abortions, I'm sorry, how many noit robas spelled backwards does, has the average 35-year-old childless woman have? How many? I'll put the over under at three. And I'll take the over, right? That's the advice that we're going to give. <laughs> we're going to give the advice, stack your money, travel the world. And then when you're 29, 30 years old, that's when you settle down. What? TK is literally giving these women feminist advice. That's what he's doing. The world of feminism tells you to travel the world, stack your cash, make your money, and then... And then, well, you know what? I take that back. He's not telling them exactly what feminists do. Feminists tell them to wait until they're 35. But TK sitting there telling people, well, wait until you're 29, 30 years old. Wait until, wait until your peak sexual attraction is now on the downslope and then lock down a man. Ay, ay, ay. Women want to have these babies 
so fast in life at 21, 22, 23. TK, <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with a woman having children at 21, 22, 23, as long as they're married, right? Like, again, we can't, we can't really, we can't parse our words here. Nobody's telling women to have, you know, bastard children ever, right? But when we, but he's sitting here talking about women want to have these babies. No, women want to have families. They want to have families. They want to be married with children while they're young. Unfortunately, our culture encourages women to do literally the opposite. Of course, women, of course, women want to have babies at 21, 22, 23 years old. Those are their prime fertile years. Of course they do. And after you had three kids, one day you're in a mall, one day you had a show and you meet the man of your dreams <laughs> and he likes you. He liked the way you built. He likes your style. How would he like the way you built after three children? TK. Hmm? Listen, man, the average woman in this country weighs 170 pounds. Three out of four African-American women are overweight. So how is that dude going to like the way you're... Oh, that's right. Vlad did talk about the fact that there are some men out here who do like BBWs. My mistake. He hears your conversation, uh, the things that you've gone through, but he's a smart guy. He's calculating ah, boy. what he's about to get himself into. Oh, I like this bitch. Three kids, though. She live in this neighborhood. She got an okay car. She got a lot of these problems. And I could, why well, fall in love with her and take on all this debt? Why, you know, I'm telling people, see, men. Now, see, now TK's keeping it real. Now TK's keeping it real, guys. Right? He's letting them know, listen, man, high value women ain't, or high value men ain't checking for BBWs. High value men ain't checking for BBWs with kids. Darren Hilton corrected me. Four out of five uh, BWs are overweight. Wow. Hell, I tried to give him 75%. He called it 80. I'll be damned. Men don't think like this. Men are me the woman with three children. And if he's smart, she's invisible. And issues. And bring all this debt, all this pain into their life because they, I want to be a man. But you got, life is a strategy. When you meet a woman and you say hello. All right. He's, 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 he's in the weeds. He's in the weeds. Um, TK clearly, TK clearly was, unfortunately for TK, Ben, um, this conversation was above his pay grade. That conversation was above his pay grade. TK, like I said, man, TK is, he's one of the sharpest people. He's one of the sharpest people I've seen on YouTube. And he does, and listen, man, TK keeps it a stack, man. Like, he does not play with these bitches. He does not, listen, he doesn't play with them, man. He lets them know, hey, man, like, niggas ain't trying to, mm -mm. niggas ain't trying to take care of your kids. They're just not going to. But, of course, now, compared to Kevin Samuels, now, now all of a sudden he has to hedge. I get, listen, I guess you guys are right. I guess he was afraid of getting canceled. You know, it's interesting, man. It's interesting. And we'll get to the Kevin Samuels interview in a minute. We're going to do the super the super chats here. As Wesley Delvoy, Delvoy says, I admit he's half woke. Yeah, he probably is. He probably is. He probably is half woke. But <clears throat> here's the thing, guys. And I'm going to start using, I'm going to start using a term rather than using TRP or RP, right? I'm going to start using the word civilian, right? If you are in this community, you are not a civilian, okay? Kevin Samuels is not a civilian. You guys understand? Myron Gaines, Fresh Print CEO, not civilians. You guys see where I'm going here? You guys see where I'm going? Derek Jackson, not a civilian. Steve Harvey, not a civilian. Well, wait a minute, Donovan. How can... Steve Harvey not be a how does Derek Jackson and Steve Harvey be not a civilian and you not you not a civilian either? No. Steve Harvey and Derek Jackson know damn well what it's really like out here in these streets. But they figured out that it is far more profitable to tell women what they want to hear than to tell women what they need to hear. Fortunately, as Kevin Samuels is going to show us, he appears to he's gonna he's 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 gonna make himself a very, very, very good living telling women what they actually need to hear. Like Kevin Samuels, I swear to God, dude, 
And, and listen, man, I've known Kevin forever, dude. Like, we go, Jesus. Uh, dude, <laughs> dude, I remember when Kevin Samuels and I first started collaborating. I might have had 7,000 subscribers. He might have had 4,000, right? Might have. Kevin Samuels is going to be the first person in history who is actually going to make money telling women what they need to hear. That's the real genius. That's the real genius. Kevin Samuels has become a millionaire telling women what they need to hear. Go figure. All right. Um, shout out to my sharp stream guys. Hell Fong is in the house. Uh, Geeky Anomaly says racist equals bigoted on the basis of race, sexist, bigoted on the basis of sex, feminist, fill in the blank. <laughs> Trey Raven says uh, a lot of high if a lot of high value men were into BBWs, they would be trolling the local Walmart at 8 p.m. Right. And dude, Vlad knew what was up. As soon as Kevin said, really? Men are out here checking for BBWs? Okay. Humor me. When's the last time you saw high value men with a BBW on his arm? Yeah, didn't think so. Yeah, didn't think so. Give me a break. Um, <clears throat> big thanks. Big, big thanks goes out to Jeremy Sears with a $5 super chat. It says, nobody in the chat points out that TK asserts women, quote, need men to teach them to think he's insulting their intelligence and ours. You're right. You're right. You're right. Women aren't stupid. Women are very, women are extraordinarily smart creatures, right? They are so they are so much more socially calibrated than we as men are. But the fact that they make bad decision after bad decision, that just speaks to the ineptitude of not only women, but the culture. Women are smart, man. They're not stupid. They, listen, they know, what's, they, they know what's up. They know exactly what's going on, as you guys will see here with this Kevin Samuels interview. But whenever they make bad decisions, there's always somebody else to blame. And you want to know something? Everybody helps them blame everyone else on their bad decisions. Incredible. <clears throat> Dr. Thunder with the $5 super chat says he's actually saying that women need to have sex, but not fall in love. Really? That's the exact, that's exactly the issue. He's trying to get women to be like men. There you go. There you go. I'm disappointed in TK, man. Cause he's usually pretty, he's usually, he's usually pretty on top of it. Let me read a few more uh, <clears throat> chats here. Before we get into this Kevin Samuels interview, this is freaking hilarious, man. This is uh, <laughs> this is really funny. Yes, King Javi. King J says, you can do drugs, just don't get addicted. DJ Keefe says, TK is a feminist. He's been conditioned like, like many brothers. Like, this is the very first time I've ever seen him sort of <clears throat> delve into these water. Delve into these waters. XOXO says, watching from East Coast of Africa. Great content, gentlemen. Appreciate that. Appreciate that very much. 752 people watching. 752 people watching. I need another th I need another 125 likes. I need another 125 likes. I need those likes right now. I need those likes right now. And what's going to happen? What's going to happen? is until I get that 125 likes, until I get to, let's call it 350 likes, I'm going to do like the Fresh and Fit Boys and pitch the products. Tony Smith has been around Vlad too much. Yeah, right. Yep. Uh, Jamilson Neves, Neves says uh, he's afraid to get canceled. Yep, absolutely. All right, 270. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going because when I get to the end of this, when I get to the end of this, I'm going to pitch the hell out of my products. I promise. Mike the Supreme says this is horrible advice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Charles Reinhardt said someone cut him that check to say this BS. Dude, I mean, that's how bad it was. I was like, dude, did somebody pay this guy? Somebody pay this guy? Amanda Bosabar says this is terrible advice. If you're acting like a selfish boss, babe, you won't have options in the future. No man of value wants that. Real talk. Real talk, Amanda. Appreciate that. The Neo Logic. Says, I'm telling you, he's got a, quote, independent woman in his ear before this interview. These are black womenist talking points. <laughs> Real talk. Anytime a man, you know what, man? TK might actually be a civilian, guys. He might be, he might actually, he might actually be a civilian. I didn't think he was a civilian, but I don't know, man. I don't know. He's not really, he's not making, a, he's not making a very, he's not making a good, a good case. 
Joe Rogan is not a civilian. You guys see where I'm headed? You guys got it? That way I can stay away from... I just I could just use those, you know, loose military terms. All right, good stuff. All right, uh, look at that. 361 likes. Appreciate that, guys. Appreciate that, guys. Our future MD says they're blinking uh, the stream. Uh, no, you're actually, I think you're, oops, damn it. You are watching, give me a second. Um, you're watching on, you are likely, god damn it. I love my computer, but I'm going to tell you what, man. Sometimes it really fucking pisses me off. Like it does the dumbest things at the worst possible time. Um, anyway. Anyway, yeah, you're probably you're probably watching on my second channel. Yes, TechnoMageB5 says, yes, so this is your other channel. Right, exactly. Um, so what I need you guys to do, what I need you guys to do, guys, what I need you guys to do, is I need you to subscribe to my second channel. Subscribe to my second channel. Here's why I need you to subscribe to my second channel. Take a look at the screen. Take a look at the screen. I did this earlier, but this is how important this is, guys. This is how important this is. So on your screen, at the top, those are the stats for my backup channel, okay? On the bottom are the stats for my main channel. We'll get to the Kevin Samuels interview here in just a second. But I need you guys to understand why it is absolutely critical that you guys subscribe to my second channel. So up top, second channel, as of yesterday, 4,227 subscribers, right? Over the last 28 days, over the last 28 days, right? My second channel, my, my main channel, 110,601 subscribers. And by the way, that's probably down to like 110, 550. I lost 40 subscribers yesterday, guys. So, so, so something's afoot. Something's afoot. I am clearly Danab Wodas spelled backwards. And that is why I am being Del Tort spelled backwards. Okay? Main channel, 110,601 subscribers. Backup channel, 4,227 subscribers. Main channel, the last 28 days, 285,000 views. Backup channel, 5,100 views. Main channel... 44,000 hours of watch time. Backup channel, 777 hours of watch time. Main channel, I've lost 274 subscribers, while my backup channel has gained almost 400 subscribers during that same time. Not only that, guys, not only that, when I streamed my backup channel, other than, I mean, with the exception of today, I don't use thumbnails. I just start to stream, right? I'm not, I'm not doing keywords. I'm not doing tags. I'm not doing any of that stuff. I'm just streaming it just to have the backup. So tell me why there is a, where there's, why there's damn near, was that four or three, why there's damn near a 700 subscriber swing in a channel that has infinitely more subscribers. Well, that's obvious. Danab Wodas spelled backwards. So what I'm going to end up having to do, unfortunately, is I'm going to have to build up my backup channel because it is clear, it is clear that the powers that be are simply not going to allow, they're not going to allow this channel to grow anymore. I've got 728 people watching right now. 728, right? 728 people watching right now. After, after this particular stream, all the streams I'm doing, all the keyword stuff, what, what am I at now? Six, one, 110, 601? Watch. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I'll be 110,525 subscribers. So this is what's, this is what's happening, guys. This is, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. So, guys, please subscribe to my backup channel. Subscribe to my backup channel um, because um, at some point, it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be a waste of time. It's going to be a waste of time to stream to my main channel. Like, why Like why should I spend all my time streaming to this channel and building this up if I'm literally going backwards? Literally going backwards. There's only one, there's only one explanation for that. Okay, enough of that nonsense. Let us now, 
So we're going to break down a couple of uh, Kevin Samuels interviews. And by the way, by the way, 5 o'clock Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific, right here, I'm going to be doing another breakdown, episode 2, season 1, episode 2 of Sex Life, followed by the continuation, followed by the continuation of Temptation Island. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be uh, in roughly a couple of hours. Roughly a couple of hours. So we'll get all that. We'll get all that squared away, and uh, and taken care of. Um, Apollo says facts. Yes, my ex still blames her cheating on my cheating, and her friends co-signed with her on that. I just laughed. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So uh, Kevin had this woman um, call into his show last night. Um, the long and the short <laughs> of this conversation is that she needs advice on her situation. Let's listen. You, you, you can, you can achieve like a, a comfortable or, or stable life. This is why I say like independence should be taken from, this is why I'm, thank you. This call company. should be taken from, this is why I'm, thank you. This call is a great reason. You, know, you might think I'm sound sexist or chauvinistic. This is an independent woman. Mm -hmm. oh, and listen to what she's talking about. He does want to have Sorry about our that. daughter. I didn't start oh, from the right. I didn't start from the right one. Okay, here we go. I'm 28, almost 28 in August. I'll turn 28. Okay, you got to hold the phone steady. Yeah, I'm sorry. You, I'm sorry. Yeah, you got to hold the phone steady. Yeah. How you doing? Mm -hmm. um, you got to hold um, the phone steady. I do have a question. Go ahead. He's having a hard time following directions. Yes. Um, Go ahead. Uh, yes, as I said, I'm 28. Um, I do have a daughter. She just turned three. Um, with uh, with 20 year old, boyfriend. 20 year old. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, we are together for more than 11 years. 20 year old daughter, or I'm sorry, she's 28, <clears throat> has a three year old. She's been with her guy for more than 11 years. Um, yeah, Frank Brennan says the Godfather never loses. Yeah, uh, Kevin is undefeated. We, we still are together. What's the question? Um, the topic was about women um, having to be independent, and he does view um, he does view it that way. He does want to have our daughter to be independent, to be. I wonder why. Uh, educated to have her own stuff. I wonder why. Um, and Who your boyfriend? I'm trying to tell. Yes. Okay. Well, ma'am, how do you? I'm almost 28 next month. Right. And you've she been with a, this guy? She looks a lot older than 28. Am I right? Guy for 11 years? Yes. So she, she, she got with him. She's been with him for 11 years. So she's been with him since she was 17. So she had the kid at 20. Okay. Yes, I know. I know. It, it should have been much no, earlier than that. Let me, got let me do what I know. No, no. See, I don't like when y'all do that. I'm sorry. Guess what she tried to do? Right? She tried to circumvent. She tried to circumvent Kevin checking her, right? When women call the show, listen, I, listen, Kevin, Godfather, I know, I know I should have. No, clearly you don't know. That's why you called in. Kevin doesn't like it when women call into his show. They're asking for advice or asking for something, but then all of a sudden they know everything. Well, I know this, I know that. Well, then why are we calling in? It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't want to, yeah, I want to say what you want to say. You don't want to hear it. Right. Yes, I, I do. He wants her to be independent because look what he has. Uh -oh. He's got you as an independent woman. You're not a wife. You didn't demand that you had to be married before you had a baby. So why should he listen to what you're having to say about his daughter if his mother accepted if her mother accepted that? Oh boy. It's it's Troy Wright says she looks used. She looks tired, man. She looks tired. And yeah, I think she might be lying about her age because she does not look twenty eight years old. It's more that I, I saw my mistake. And I do you guys I live tried, together? I try. Do you guys live together? No, it's it's a lot of a lot of okay, okay, um, ma'am, ma'am, ma okay, 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 okay. I need you to calm down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause, right. cause, Listen to this. You guys aren't gonna believe this. Because the reality is, this may not work. You've been with a guy for eleven years. Mm -hmm. You got a kid. You don't even live together. Why? Here we go. It's it's financial. We don't. Um, I'm I'm. I'm in Amsterdam. I'm in uh -huh. I'm in I'm in the in, in the Netherlands, and uh -huh. 
it's very expensive living o- and over he's here. Weird. There's another excuse. And um, also with, uh, yeah, it's uh, also with his uh, with his parents. And and he's here, weird. And he kept asking her, "Where? Where does he live?" Watch her facial expression. She does not want to answer this question. Um, also with, uh, yeah, it's uh, also with his, uh, with his parents. Oh boy. Oh boy. So her baby daddy, a dude, she has a three-year-old daughter with, wants their daughter to become strong and independent. Then in the questioning, we find out why he wants her to be strong and independent is because he still lives with his mother. He still lives at home. Let's find out how old he is. And hopefully this year we will achieve to and um, to be together finally as a family. You're not a family. We, we want to be. No. How old is your daughter? <laughs> Look. <laughs> Listen, this cracks me up. When Kevin gets quiet, when Kevin gets quiet, that's when he's thinking, right? He's thinking when he's quiet. And and he doesn't think for long, but he's quiet. He lets him talk. How old is your daughter? Right? Now, here come come the questions three levels deep. Um, She she, she just went three. Uh Uh-huh. Well, I got to (laughs) ask. Why? Why, why have a baby um, with a guy who's not your husband? Mm-hmm. He's asking, why are you having a baby with a guy who's not your husband? Who you don't live with. Oh, he lives with his parents. He, and is, he, is he in Amsterdam? Yes. No, he he, in, I met him in Amsterdam. He just lives like a half hour away from okay. me. But he lives with his parents. Uh, Yes. Why? So Kevin asked her straight up. Okay. Okay. Lives with his parents. All right. Why? Why? I, I guess I, he because he's he's comfortable where he is and. He no. Just, why did you do this? And why did you do this? Because I, because I didn't see. I didn't see. Um, the the necessity the uh, to to be married I I just didn't you didn't see. you didn't see the oh pff, shit go ahead see my, bad, Kev, my bad Kevin my bad you got it necessity and, to be married what do you do for a living oh here they come there's question number two listen by the time he gets to question three or four it's a wrap I'm a research analyst <laughs> mm-hmm and what does he do for a living uh oh um his um. Uh, to be uh, like his own cab driver. This woman is a research analyst with a three-year-old daughter. The baby daddy is a cab driver. Ay ay ay, ay ay ay. Listen, you can't make this stuff up, guys. You cannot make this up. Unbelievable. Like his own a cab um, driver. Okay. <laughs> I love, and this is what I love about Kevin. He never. He never lets it go, right? Kevin is very, very good. And I wish I knew. This is why I watch Kevin. The, the main reason I watch Kevin is because he, oh, man, this is one of the, listen, man. One thing I am hyper envious of Kevin about, it is, it is, it is his, it is his ability. How can I put this? It is his ability to stay cool when he knows he's being bullshitted. When he knows he's being bullshitted, and listen, Kevin, dude, Kevin checks these, he checks these broads all day long, right? I, I will, I, again, again, this, this takes an emotional mastery that only someone like him possesses. Because when I know I'm being bullshitted, I don't react that way. When I know somebody is bullshitting me, man or woman, I, like, I don't react that well. And this is one of my many frailties, man. A lot of people, ah, Donovan Sharp, you're an alpha male in this. Listen, I don't get to decide whether or not I'm, I'm an alpha male. I don't get to decide whether or not I'm a high-value guy. But objectively speaking, 
If someone were to ask me, hey, is Donovan Sharp an alpha male? The answer is an emphatic no. Well, Donovan, you're in the top 1% in income, and, and uh, you know, you're at 43, you're in the prime of your life, and this and that and the other. Why aren't you? Well, number one, because I'm not in as good a shape as I should be in. Right? But most importantly, I do not have emotional mastery. I fly off the hinge. I got a temper problem, right? I, I mean, maybe it's chemical. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter why it is. Like, I am not emotionally mature enough to be able to do what he does. That is one thing I wish I could just take. I wish I could just slice out the part of the brain that just has the ice water running through his veins and still be able to be surgical with these bitches, man. Like this, like I, I wish, and listen, man, Kevin is 52 years old. So I guess age has something to do with it. I can't see myself being like this in nine, 10 years. I just can't, I just can't, man. I really can't. So yeah. you didn't see the necessity to be married. So you basically chose to be a single mother because you're dating a guy. Who's ah, excellent. Excellent. So now we, uh, we have a troll. Don't, uh, don't time him out. Don't time him out. I want, I, I would like to address this troll. I'd like to address this troll. Don't time him out. Uh, Mr. What's his name? Roy Moore. Mr. Roy Moore. Don't time him out. Leave him in there. He can, uh, he can watch. He, uh, he, uh, he has a right. He has a right. Now I can't find the chat. Don't time him out, guys. Leave him in there. Leave him in there. So Roy Moore. Roy Moore says, uh, <clears throat> when, when are you going to? Oh, wow. He's been, in, he's, he's been trolling me for a while. All right. Let's see where this started here. Let's see where this started. Okay. All right. Well, all right. Whatever. So Roy says, uh, dude, when are you going to get your own? I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what that means. Don't time him out. Don't, 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 don't time him out. So Roy Moore, you're, you're subscribed to AMS's Patreon. Roy says, no, it takes discipline. I agree. He says, that's why you have a criminal record. Yes. That's exactly why, Roy. Listen, Roy is not, listen, man, he's not, he's not telling you, he's not breaking news. He's not telling you anything you don't, like, I don't already know, right? I have a criminal record because of my emotional immaturity. My emotional immaturity has gotten me into a lot of legal trouble. Roy Moore is 100% correct. My lack of emotional maturity is 1,000% the reason I have a criminal record. That's right. I'm a four-time convicted felon. Okay, I've been arrested over two dozen times, probably closer to 50, or probably, God, Jesus, probably closer to 30, if I'm being honest, right? No discipline. Oh, Roy says I have no discipline. Well, there I have to disagree. I got to disagree with Roy on that one. Um, I've got plenty of discipline. Look what I've built, right? Look what I've built. So discipline, that, 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 that's something I don't lack. So I'm going to have to disagree with you there. And corny as hell. There we go. And corny as hell. So Roy has just outed himself as an ain't shit nigga. Because anybody who calls me corny just calls me corny simply because of the way I talk. So listen, Ray. Check this out. And here's the funny thing, Ray. Here's the funny thing, Ray. This is funny. This is funny. This is funny. I have a criminal record. Been arrested uh, umpteen times. Can't get a job anywhere. Right? But nigga, I got more than you. You ain't got no criminal record. Right? Where's your discipline, fam? Yeah, I got a criminal record. I've done a lot of fucked up things. All right. So what have you... Who, is your life better than mine? I'll wait. L listen, man. Listen. Listen, man. Like, 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 no cap. Like, no hard feelings. Like, if you want to... If, 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 if you want to joust, that's fine. You can... Listen, you can talk about all my frailties all you want to. But my life is better than yours. How do I know my life is better than yours? Because you're in my chat. All right? You're in my chat room trolling me. My life is better than yours automatically. These guys, give me a break. And corny as hell. Hi, yay, yay. Swear to God, man, if I had a nickel for every time some ancient nigga called me corny, I wouldn't have to be on YouTube. I'll tell you that. Tricky Trini says, shut the hell up, Ray Moore. Ah, listen, man, let him go. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Oh, he deleted the comment. Whoa, oh, wow. Oh, shit, whoa, you guys are really going in on him. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Timed him out. Uh, Troy Wright with the $5 super chat says, keep up the great work. Absolutely. Technomage B5 says you don't get to the top, to, right, $10 says that you don't get to be in the top 10% with no discipline. Yeah, right. See, again, you know, Roy is like a, um, he used the propaganda technique, right? And he didn't really know that he was doing it. He told some truths, but then he, he told a bunch of truths so that he could slip in some lies, right? 
He told a bunch of truths so that he can slip in some lies. Right? I opened up, told you guys, listen, I'm not the most emotionally mature guy out there. I be, listen, there's, listen, listen, you do not have to look, you don't have to check my criminal record to know that I'm a hothead. That's why you have a criminal record, Donovan. Hey, touche. Touche. Got you. But then he started talking about no discipline, blah, 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 blah. Right? All right. This is what happens, guys. This is what happens. This is what happens when dudes <clears throat> who have the opportunity to do more than you end up ain't shit. Roy, what are you doing at home at three o'clock in the afternoon? Hmm? What are you doing? What are you doing at home at three o'clock in the afternoon on here trolling somebody? Right? Listen, yeah, listen. Emotionally mature, criminal record, all that. My life is better than yours, Roy. Hate never, ever, 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 ever comes from above. Floyd Scott says, don't let him get you off topic. Floyd, I can talk about whatever I want whenever I want. Relax with that. Relax with that. Relax with that. Right? <clears throat> and see, I am showing a little bit of my, like, listen, man, trust me. Trust me. Like, I got a long way to go, but I think, I think I've done, I think I've done very well in the way I have sort of handled myself. You guys have kind of watched me grow up over the last couple of years, right? I'm a lot better than I used to be, for sure. E Love says criminal records get the ladies. Hand sanitizer says, Roy, what have you built? I don't know. Probably a uh, probably a birdhouse. And listen, if listen, if Roy builds birdhouses, listen, no shade. Because I can't build a birdhouse. I can't build a birdhouse. Yeah, guys like guys like Roy, guys like Roy, um, guys like Roy hate their lives. Okay? He really does hate his life. And the reason why we know he hates his life is because he's in here trying to make me feel shitty about my life. Fam, I'm going to make seven figures this year. Yes, seven figures. I'm, I, I will be a part of the two comma club this year. Convicted felon. I assume you probably, you probably never been arrested before. My life's better than yours, man. And you can, listen, you can have what I have, but you really, you really have to lose that attitude. You really, really do. Listen, don't hate on me. Just because, like, honestly, just because I'm, <laughs> just because I'm making the best of my situation doesn't mean you got to be hating on me. Come on, man. All right. Uh, a couple more super chats here. Yeah. Uh, logically, uh, fallacious says criminal records gets the pussies wet and tight. Yes. You know what? It's funny. It's funny. I used to, I used to purposely keep my criminal record away from girls. Then I found, then, then I ceased to become a civilian and all of a sudden, have you ever been arrested? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've never, ever, ever had a female not consider me, not consider me when she found out I had a criminal record. When she found that, no, I've never had a woman say, you know what, Donovan, I do not want to date you because you're a convicted felon. Never happened. Now, maybe Roy would say no to dating me, but I've never lost a woman because of my criminal record, guys. And listen, again, I'm not, like, I'm not proud of my criminal record, but I'm not ashamed of it either, man. Like, this is, this is who I am. This is who I am. All right, let me read the, the one more. Uh, Captain Cisco, $5, says, do you know how to fight and how many have, I, have you won? Uh, Captain Cisco, uh, of course I know how to fight. Uh, and I've won a lot more than I've lost. Um, I can remember the, the th <laughs> three fights I lost decisively. Uh, dude, one guy, oh my God. One guy, one guy hit me so, listen to this, guys. This is crazy. And I'll get back to the, I'll get back to the interview here shortly. Shout out to uh, Rolla Tomasi, who's in the chat. One guy hit me so hard. One guy hit me so hard. When I hit the, I, I woke up when I hit the ground. I woke up when I hit the ground. This dude knocked me out cold, and I woke up when I hit the ground. I, I'm surprised. I had the presence of mind to just cover up to make sure he didn't curb stomp me. But that dude, that dude, that dude was that dude was strong. That dude was strong. So yes, I know how to fight, and uh, I've won a lot more. I've won a lot more than I've lost. So there you go. Uh, Kevin, I'm Kevin. Uh, so uh, Rollo says, why does Kevin Samuels think marriage should be the end state goal for men and women? I don't know, uh, Rollo. You'll have to ask him. You'll have to ask him. Listen, I mean, Kevin and I don't agree on 100% of things. Like, he, he, he teaches women, hey, listen, you got to get the ring, right? 
got to get the ring. Um, listen, I mean, I'm sure, listen, black women do, do need to get married. Not getting a ring from me, right? Not, not getting a read from, ring, ring, ring from me. But, yeah, listen, uh, yeah, uh, Rolla, that's, um, that's one of the fundamental differences, I would assume, between myself and Kevin. We're still, we're still good friends. You know, that is an interesting question, man. That's an interesting question. Next time I talk to him, I might just ask him that. Hey, man, like, right? Like, why do you, like, why do you advocate marriage? I think that's a good question. I think that's, I think that's a, good, uh, a good, fair question. I think that's a good, fair question. Uh, TechnoMageB5 says, Donovan is approving himself and others. Hashtag respect. If you can't respect that, then you don't, you don't belong here. Nah, let Roy stick around. Let Roy stick around. Um, I think, um, I think, um, <clears throat> I think, uh, I think guys like Roy could benefit from stuff like this. Um, this is just how it is. Some of your, like some of your most staunch critics, like your, 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 your staunchest critics are often your biggest fans. Um, Anthony Johnson is a huge fan of mine. He's a huge fan of mine. You want to know why I know he's a huge fan of mine? Want to, want to know why I know? Because the last three months, his channel has been dedicated to me. Been dedicated to me. He, 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 he wanted to talk about how fat my girl was, yet he told everyone that Devin wanted to smash him. Anthony Johnson is a big, big fan. Big, big fan of Donovan Sharp. Yes, I know, guys. He's, 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 he's got a funny way of showing it, but he's like an obsessed little schoolgirl. Like, truthfully, the way he's acted the last three months, you would think that he and I dated for a while. And by the way, just to reiterate, uh, if I have any Anthony Johnson 21 Studios fans in the chat, yeah, let him know. Let him know that anytime, anytime he schedules an event, I will schedule an event at the exact same time. Ah, Roy says, no, it's your estrogen. I don't know what you're talking about. I really don't know my estrogen. Like, Roy, you got to stay on topic here. Got to stay on topic. Got to stay on topic. Got to stay on topic. Uh, where's your mother, Roy? Where's your mom? No, no, he, listen, Trini, he's fine. He's fine. I'm not, I'm not worried about him. I'm not worried about him. Like, I, it, it's, it's funny. He's in here trolling me, but I know he is really upset with himself. Like, dude, you got to have a fucked up life. Listen, Roy, I will let you come in here and cry on my shoulder. Seriously, call me all kinds of names. Guys, listen, 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 Roy. Do not touch Roy. Don't time him out. Don't ban him. Just let him... Let him show, let him show people what happens, what happens when you're a civilian, when you're a civilian. Jungle, Jungle ENT says, damn, he went for your girl. Yeah, um, Jungle ENT, yeah, uh, Anthony Johnson docks me and my girlfriend. Yep, yep. And those of you who aren't familiar with the situation, oh, Donovan, you're being petty. I'm not being petty. Go to his channel and you will see that he is absolutely justified. Uh, Logic TV wants to know why Roy is so mad. Logic TV, Roy is not mad. Roy is not, he's not upset at all. He's not upset at all. Roy is a very sad individual. He's very sad and he's angry. He's angry that a four-time convicted felon with over two dozen arrests can make seven figures while he lives with his mother. But to be honest with you, I'd be pissed off too. <laughs> I mean, listen, if I'm keeping it all the way real, I might be Roy. All right, uh, King Life with the $10 Super Chat says, hate always comes from the ankle biters of the world. That's why you have Asperger's Daniel Radcliffe on you. He married a pole dancer and no value to the community, he's drama. Eh, it is what it is. Listen, one thing I can tell, one thing I will give Anthony credit for is that he's the guy who actually inspired me to do this, right? I figured if, <laughs> I figured if, um, <laughs> I figured if a guy like him could do it, then I know I could do it. Like, seriously, like if, <laughs> like, dude, if a guy like Anthony Johnson can pull something like this off, I know I can, and I did. Let's continue. It's a bomb. Uh oh. Yeah. Let's rewind. This says to be married, so you basically chose to be a single mother because you're dating a guy who's a bum. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, um, and I don't want to say that he's a bum, but uh -oh. okay. I don't want to say he's a bum, but Kevin, I admit he's a bum. He's a how old is he? Uh, he's he's twenty nine. Is he physically impaired in any way? This dude is 20. Not, okay, get rid of Ray. Psh, see ya. Ray, did you really think I was going to let you troll? Get Ray out of here. Uh, Keisha Charles, get her out of here. <laughs> did you really think I was going to allow you to sit here and troll me all day long? Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Go fuck yourself. Hit up Keisha Charles. Maybe you guys can fuck. Fuck you guys. 
Fuck you guys. Go fuck yourself. Troll me another day. No, no, no. no. Oh, he, he this wore, is bad. Oh, this is bad. Uh, he's tw- 29. 29. Is he physically impaired in any way? Oh, boy. No, no, no. No. He, he were is he worked well enough to have sex and impregnate you, but he can't get his own place. Man, if you're over twenty five and living at home with your parents, that. that makes you a bum. Yep. That makes you a loser. For- That's it. That's it. That's it, man. That's it. He called it like it is. If you're over twenty, if you are over, if you are over the age of twenty five and living with your parents, you are a fucking loser. I don't care, man. I don't care. I do not give a shit. I don't care. Now, if you're a woman over the age of 25 who is single and childless, listen, live with your parents until you get married. 100% for that. 100, dude, how much? 100% for that. But there is absolutely no excuse. There is absolutely no excuse for a grown ass man to be living at home with his parents. Just ask Roy. He knows. For the most part. Unless you're in school or sick or extenuating circumstances. Dude, I went to school and I didn't live with my parents. You had a baby with a loser. Ooh. You had a baby with a loser. Mr. Shane Vicious says, well, at least he has a car. <laughs> and now you're trying to marry a loser. Oh, my God. And worry oh, about what painful. a loser thinks. This is painful. Because you didn't see the necessity to be. Amos Brown, $10 super chat. Good work. Th- Listen, I greatly appreciate. I greatly appreciate all the support, guys. I really do. Thank you, guys. Married. Fine. But you put yourself in this position. There you go. That's it. That's hey, it. Hey, what do you think? What, the, what do you think the outcome is going to be? I mean, is it, <laughs> he asked her, "What do you think the outcome is going to be?" Uh, this is a problem with independence. This, see, I would say this, and this may sound sexist, but you have money, you have a job, and now look at you make women make decisions uh, are allowed to make these decisions. True. There we go. So no one should feel sorry for you. See, what Kevin just said, what Kevin just said is something I have always said. What what Kevin just said to her, what his words to her was, listen, this is the problem with independence. This is the problem with independent women is they're always making the wrong decision. Guys, here are the facts. Here are the facts. Women cannot be trusted to their own devices. They can't be. This doesn't make them flawed. This doesn't make them bad. This is just who they are, okay? When women, a woman... When a woman is left to her own devices, when she is given full control of anything, she destroys it. Why? Because a woman's default setting is self-destruction. Listen, if a woman does not have the structure and the discipline of a strong patriarchy, they run amok. Well, how do you know? Look outside. Look outside. Look outside. Being masculine is borderline illegal. Probably, it's probably going to be illegal here in the next few years, Right? Because there is not strong male leadership in this country. This is why women, this is why we have women with four kids by four different dudes thinking, they can, thinking that they can actually be with dudes like Kevin. Right? That's the problem. When women have sole control over anything, they destroy it. They have control over themselves, they destroy themselves. Tattoos, piercings, quadruple digit notch counts. Right? Single mothers have full control of their kids. <laughs> Listen, man, the children, do people raised by single mothers, if you're a boy raised by single mother, they either end up criminals or switch hitters. Now, I'm not a switch hitter, but guess what? Guess what? My dad was a, he was a present yet absentee father. My father, uh, my father taught me nothing. He was, he was literally there, but invisible. So I was essentially raised by single mother. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that the reason I was raised by, sing, the, the reason I committed all these crimes, because I was, no, 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 I take full responsibility for my actions. But stats are stats. Boys raised by single mothers end up confused about their dating preferences or they end up as criminals. Girls raised by single mothers, they all end up as hoes. They end up on the pills, the pull, or both. They make bad decision after bad decision. Give women full control over anything they destroy. A woman's default setting is self-destruction. This is exactly why women need to be guided by strong men. Otherwise... They have children at the age of 20 with cab drivers who live with their mothers. I don't, I, 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 no, 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 I I don't, I don't want to. uh, But you're still worried about about him and talking about him and what he wants to do. It's like, well, that's why I say therapy is so important, man. Something's not, 
That doesn't yes, make sense. Apollo says the realization just set in on her. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I do, I do. It doesn't make sense that you would worry about what a cab driver would do with his mama think. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. This is Kevin, Kevin. Like, Kevin's hurting my feelings now. God damn. Like, I'm starting to feel sorry for this chick. No, not really. But God damn, Kevin. I do have an appointment for um, for therapy. Okay. Um, but I... I also I also see um, the reality of things. Okay. I don't, the reality I don't of things. I don't see myself um, of myself um, finding another person. That oh, okay. Um, there we go. There he is. She admitted it. Thank you. So you settled, <laughs> ma'am. It would be I'm, better to have. It would be better to have nothing. Ooh, ooh. This this is gonna sound cold and cruel. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, he said it's better to have nothing. You want to know what that felt like? That felt like the kidney shot that Bernard Hopkins floored Oscar De La Hoya with back in, what was it, 03? Mm. Ifani Oyekanjaka says we have to train women. Absolutely. I actually talked about that in episode three. Ooh, but I'm going to say it. Um, uh -oh. I, I, it's the best I can do, so I decided to go have a baby with a loser cab driver. No, 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 no. That, oh, no, no. That, that well, I mean, you could have, you could have had all the stuff you want to, but why bring a kid into this? Right. You made that her father. Mm. Yeah, but I Uncomfortable truth is you wrong for that. I rebuke. That was funny as hell. I rebuke. At that time, I... I didn't know what, what was better. What it's what it's called a condom. I I supposed to be. <laughs> Dude, this is funny. Listen, man. Kevin always stays cool. He always stays cool. The only time he starts to get a little hot under the collar is when is when women double down on the bullshitting. She's tried to bullshit him this whole time. Kevin handled it. But now she's sitting here telling him, well, listen, okay, so I had a kid with a loser guy, but that's not my fault. And Kevin's like, sweetheart, wait, what? You're acting like this was like a one-shot deal? Like he wanted to have a kid with you? You had a kid? No, sweetie, it takes two to tango. It takes two to tango. Bryce Friday said in the comments, you lay with, you lay with dogs, you get fleas. That's how this works. You're a research I, I, analyst, ma'am. That's not, you're not stupid. You're an educated woman. No, don't, but, don't play this okay, innocent I, shit I, with I, me. Oh, no, 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 no. whoa, Kevin. Wow. See, now you know, look, you know Kevin's mad when he starts to swear. <laughs> but listen, again, she's trying to play this, oh, woe is me. Oh, woe is me. I made this bad decision, and I'm with this loser guy because he's a loser. No, sweetheart, you chose him. Just like Kevin says, you made that your kid's father. That's all there is to it. She ain't got nobody to blame but herself. I'm I'm playing this, I didn't know what was Geek Anomaly. In the sharp stream chat, doing a little foreshadowing. It's better, whatever. That's, that's that, no. Look, see, you see the smile on her face. Look, 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 look at that smile on her face, guys. Look at that smile on her face. You know what that says? This says that she knows that Kevin knows that she's bullshitting him. She's like, okay, all right, okay. You can't double talk, dude. You cannot. <laughs> you can't listen. And now here's the here's 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 one thing I will give to her. She made Kevin raise his voice and swear. That is not easy to do. <laughs> that is not easy to do, right? Uh, Mr. Shane Vicious says that uh, Kevin hates black women. Uh, no, that's that's um, that's that's not true. Somebody time him out for that. That's not true. Come on, you know that. I'm sorry, Kevin. I'm not trying to be. But, but you're a research I'm analyst. Victim. I mean, why I, I make made, a baby? I made this decision myself. Yes, but why make the baby? Is the point? <sighs> I was. I was hoping and looking in into the future that with a cab driver. Right. I was. You. You. You can see. There you go. See. There it is, man. You see her hamster trying to jump her. She's 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 trying to justify. She's trying to justify the bad decisions she made. Well, Donovan, she was only seventeen when she got with him. Yeah, but she was twenty. Oh, my bad, Shane Vicious. Oh, my... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my bad, Shane Vicious. My bad, dude. That was a joke. My fault. My bad. My bad. You want to know something? No excuse. But <laughs> I've got this... I've got this extended chat up, and it doesn't allow me to see the icons. And so I thought Mr. Sh I... Don't time him out. Don't time him out. It was a joke. All right. I got you. I got you. I got you. My bad, man. My bad. All right. 
you can achieve like a, a comfortable or, or stable life. This is why with, I like, say independence should be in. taken from. This is why I'm. Thank you. This call is a great reason. You might mm -hmm. think I'm sound sexist or chauvinistic. This is an independent woman, mm -hmm. and listen to what she's talking about. You made a child a, a child with a go. cab driver, a loser cab driver who lives with his mother. Do you think your daughter's proud of her father? Ooh. Is he trying to do anything? Ooh. And you're talking about we can do you know, we can be better and you can you you can this is insane. He's got her on the ropes. He's got her on the ropes. She's trying to hold on. She's trying to hug him so he can't swing. Instead of just saying, you know what? I was dumb. I made a low self-esteem. I made a low self-esteem. Yeah, Ice Dragon Kid says it is, a, it is hard to be sarcastic in the text. Yes, yes, guys, listen. If you make a joke like Mr. Shane Vicious did, make sure you put it in quotations. <laughs> right? No self-respect decision. Don't try to justify it. I'm, the world has let you ladies I'm justify I'm your bad choices. Here we go. But if a man was, if this were flipped... And you were to call in and say, Shout out to Iman Bear who just subscribed to my alternate channel. You know, he's a. Oh no, Heathen Deluxe says this is. <laughs> this is uh, this is Fury Wilder too. Deadbeat. The world be like, of course he's a deadbeat. Yep. Yep. Point is, you didn't have to make the baby. So don't make another one. I think that's fair. Don't make another one. No. Oh, this poor girl. She, she is just. She has just now. She she called Kevin. She called Kevin for advice on this dire situation. Right. She called Kevin. See, she wanted Kevin to give her permission to love her life. Kevin's like, uh, -uh nope, mm -mm, nope. You fucked up. You had a kid with a bum ass dude who lives with his mother and drives a cab i i did um he like when our daughter was like a year old he did bring up that subject about oh. another one and you've been but, with this man um, for 11 years he wanted to have another kid oh my god look she can't believe she's like oh my god you're right i know yeah what do you know and that <sighs> he's you see that? See that look right there? In the words, in the immortal words of Agent Smith, that is the sound of inevitability. He's not, he's not uh, a bad guy. He is. Who uh, said he's a bad guy? He does work hard. No, no I'm, he I'm, doesn't. I know, I know you. I... How the hell does he work hard if he drives a cab? Oh, is, see, now again, now she's trying to justify it, right? Now she, you want to know what this woman should have did? You know what she, you know she should have did? She should have came correct. Kevin? I made a bad decision, okay? I brought a child into this world with a father who's probably not gonna make anything of himself. I understand where I went wrong. What advice can you give me? What advice can you give me to maybe, to maybe make the best of a bad situation? I'm all yours, that's all she had to do. But what did she do? The entire interview, she kept making excuse after excuse after excuse, right? And it's funny, a lot of guys say, well, you can't really hold that against her. She was young. Listen, guys, when I was 31 years old, I dated a 19-year-old girl who absolutely ran circles around me. Do not get it twisted, gentlemen. Do not get it twisted. Girls know the game better. Listen, the average, dude, the average 16-year-old girl, listen to what I'm saying. The average 16-year-old girl could run circles around the average 30-year-old man. That's a fact. That's a fact. You kidding me? You, are, are you kidding me? You kidding me? Girls understand the game so much better than men do. 16-year-old girl, 16-year-old boy. 16-year-old boy has, doesn't have a chance. 18 and 18, still, have, still doesn't have a chance. 25 and 25, no chance. 30 and 30, no chance. 35 and 35? So how many years was that? Hmm? That was 20 years. 19, 20 years from... From 15 to 35, it takes men two decades to finally figure it out. Girls figure it out. Girls figure out what's up as soon as they figure out that men want to fuck them. I've said this before, guys. I've said this before. I've said this many times. 
Women grow old, but they never grow up. Okay? Women stop maturing. Listen. Listen. Turn up your volumes. If you're hard of hearing, turn up your hearing aids. Like Steve the Dean says, get your crayons out. You guys are absolutely going to have to understand this. And this will explain, this will explain to you guys why most women act like spoiled brats. Women stop maturing the moment, the moment they figure out that persons of the opposite sex want to have sex with them. Women stop maturing when they figure out dudes want to fuck them. As soon as they figure out that men want to fuck them, they stop maturing. The reason for this is that the female id, the female objective, food, resources, shelter, provisioning, right? Girls know that the, the people, the people who can provide this are men. Women don't get food, resources, provisioning, uh, security from other women. No, they get that from men. Girls from a very young age know and understand that. Even, even in our feminist society, they see what the dynamic is, right? Mom can tell her all she wants to. Oh, women run the world and women this. No, listen, man. Listen, seven-year-old Susie, she's, she sees the men out there with the jackhammers, okay? She sees the men paving roads. She sees the men building buildings. She sees the men in the tech industry. Every time there's a new iPhone, it's a dude showing it. These little girls know men run the world. So as soon as she figures out in her mind, wait a minute, these guys who run the world, all of a sudden, they want something from me. Now all of a sudden, her hard drive, her hard drive tells her, Susie, you do not have to mature anymore. You do not have to mature anymore. A woman's self-actualization is her sexuality. That's it. The physical purpose of life is procreation. As soon as a woman figures out that men want to procreate with her, she stops maturing, right? She stops maturing because guess what? Her brain is now telling her, hey, men want to fuck us. So now we don't have to be kind. We don't have to be demure. We can be rude. We can be bitchy. Mom told me that I have to learn to cook and clean to get a man or a husband. Guys want to fuck me right now. So why should I learn to cook and clean, right? Right? They keep that same mindset. They keep that same mindset all through the rest of their teens, all through their 20s. Right? That's why the average 28 year old acts like a 14 year old girl. Because 14 was the age she figured out dudes wanted to smash her. Right? The average 30 year old woman still acts like a 16 year old girl because it was right around the age of 16 where she figured out dudes want to smash her. However, Women start to mature again when the men who used to want to smash them are no longer looking in her direction. So, see, now her hard drive is like, uh oh, uh oh, men don't want to smash us anymore. They don't want to smash us anymore. Quick, quick, let's start to mature again. Let's start acting like ladies. Let's, 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 let's learn to cook and clean. Let's learn to do this and that. Let's learn to act like ladies, right? Now they have a reason to mature again, guys. This is why the average 40-year-old woman still acts like she's 25. She figured out dudes wanted to smash her at 15 years old. She figured out that dudes don't want, that dudes stop wanting to smash her at 35. So while she might be 40 years old in the body, she's only aged a few years. A lot of guys always ask, why do women act like overgrown children? It's because they literally stop maturing when they figure out that men want to have relations with them. That's it. That's it. He he, he is like almost almost twenty. This is why, hours and you wonder why. And, I, I, and I'm just, I'm gonna just say to the public who may think I'm being harsh, and you wonder why some men today are weak. Yep. Because you got women like this. There it is. Who will make babies for them. Mm -hmm. You wonder why you got beta male and weak males because right. you have women like her who will go make a baby for a guy with that who has no business reproducing. Nope. And she'll stand here and try to defend him when you should have been not having a kid at all or at least go have a baby with a guy who has a, his own house or his own place trying to do something with himself. Have you tried, have you, 11 years, go, anyway, you got a baby. You're not going to be able to date anybody much anyway. So... All right. Look, she's like, what have I done? What have I done? Guys, Kevin makes a spectacular point. Spectacular point. This is why men are weak, man. This is why men ain't shit. 
the biggest hose right here talking about why aren't men shit? Why don't they, why aren't they accomplished? I'll tell you why. Because you gave up the peace leave like it was Halloween candy for no other reason but that they were there. Right? What reason do men have to go out and conquer and accomplish if they know they can get the peace leave for practically nothing? Right? See, back in the day, men wanted to be conquerors and titans of the industry because that's who they were. But the other reason was that they knew that women wouldn't give them the time of day, sexually or otherwise, if they weren't on their way, if they, if they weren't about anything. If, you're, if you weren't about shit back in the day, dude, women didn't look at you. It didn't matter how hot you were. Uh-uh. Wait a minute. All right, he's 6'4", and he's got chiseled abs, but... He ain't got no job. Uh-uh. Guess what? 6'4 chiseled ab guys, they're all the rage. They're all the rage. This is why guys aren't shit. Just like girls, when they figure out guys want to fuck them, they stop maturing. Guys stop maturing as soon as girls start giving it to them. At least the weak-minded ones. Wait a minute. You mean I can get peace leave and I don't have to have a job? Wait a minute. Hold on. I get to reproduce. Like, I'm living at home with my parents and I drive a cab. I don't have any job prospects. And you mean to tell me I can, like, I can reproduce? What dude is going to say no to that? Hmm? What dude is going to say no to that? No, I will not have sex with you because I'm not qualified to do so. Nah, man. Dudes are going to take what women give them. End of discussion. That's all there is to it. Well, yeah, I, 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 I understand that. I understand that, that, that yep. reality. And yeah. It is what it is. I the don't problem, want the, to the, the problem give. is you had the baby. The problem is the baby, man. The problem is the baby because the baby's three years old and God, you old. as a mother and the research assistant, you're a fully mm -hmm. autonomous adult. You're responsible for yourself. Oh, yeah. Him, whatever he is in on this call, but I'm talking about the person who has the custody of the kid. There you go. And your decision-making ability. You choosing this guy and defending this, this is not good. Right. I'm, I'm not, I'm trying to okay, be good, okay, I'm all right, all right, him. okay, yeah, uh-huh. Wow! Hello? Who knew? Who knew? Men? Protect your seed. Ladies, protect your eggs. We're going to break down one more interview. We're going to break down one more interview. Uh, before we do that, a quick announcement. Quick announcement. For those of you just now joining us, at 5 o'clock Eastern, 2 Pacific, I'll be doing, I'll be doing the breakdown. I'll be doing the breakdown of Sex Life, the Netflix show, the hit show everyone's talking about, Sex Life. I will be breaking that down on YouTube and on Sharpstream. YouTube and Sharpstream, I'll be breaking down sex life. Now, if you're on YouTube, you will only see what I am saying. You will only see or hear me. You will only see or hear me. However, if you want to see me break it down, if you want to see me break it down in living color, live, and you can see everything that's happening on the screen, not going to cost you a thing. Sharpstream.com, sharpstream.com. Download the app. Download the app. Good for iOS or Android. Windows Phone users, I apologize, dude. I had a Windows Phone for four years, so I feel your pain. Sharpstream.com, you can watch all of my content, all of my premium content for free on the mobile app, sharpstream.com. If you'd like to participate in the chat, patreon.com slash Donovan Sharp. If you want to watch the live replay, patreon.com slash Donovan Sharp or become a Sharpstream member. You can watch it for free on the mobile app, but the episodes aren't saved on the mobile app. The mobile app simply does not do that. That's all there is to it. Uh, Big Brandon's in the house. Good to see you in here. Dub in Dallas. He is ready for CME, too. You better believe it. Yeah, when I announced uh, that I was doing the CME in Dallas, man, uh, everybody was hitting me. It was funny because Dev and I, we were when we were in Las Vegas, I remember Devin telling, because Devin had, she had access to everybody's information. She's like, yo. She's like, we need to think about doing one in Texas because a lot of guys are coming out here from Texas. I'll tell you what, Technomage B5 with the $5 Super Chat, appreciate that. He says they conflate SMV and RMV and wonder why they end up with cats at the end. RMV equals relationship market value. Simon's Reality says, I don't think as a man, if you are working, you are a bum, irregardless of the job. Um... 
No, I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. Um, and maybe, listen, maybe bum isn't the right word. You know what? If you are working, I won't call you a bum, okay? But if you are 29 years old and you are living with your parents and you have a child with a woman you aren't living with, you're a bum. You're a bum. At 29 years old with a three-year-old daughter, you got to be further along than that. So listen, if you have a job, I'm good with that, right? But dude, you should be a little, a little further along. King Life says, yeah, I can definitely do the Texas one. Guys, I'm going to take a 30-second potty break. Of course, you guys all know I'm drinking a gallon of water a day. When I come back, we will break down the second interview. Much, much better. Much, much better. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for being patient. I had to change. I had to change. Um, I had to change um, shirts here because that uh, I think was getting a little hot. Okay. Uh, one more quick announcement. Uh, this evening, this evening, I will be appearing. I will be live in the lair with Terrence Pop. I'll be live from the lair on Terrence Pop's channel uh, tonight. At 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific. So be sure to tune in. So be sure to tune in for that. Okay, let's uh, look at uh, Kevin's next interview, which starts uh, r- probably right now. Hello, iPhone. I don't know your name. Mary? Of do women need independence and in the living apart together? To me, mm-hmm. that, the way I've been this past year, I would say. It's been a very appealing notion for me. Okay. That idea. I've been living on my own for since October. She says she's been living on her own since October. Living on her own since October. And my free ebook, which you can get at donovansharp.com slash newsletter. One of the 16 disqualifications is she lives alone. Now, why does it disqualify her for a long-term relationship if she has her own spot? Well, because when women live alone, they sleep with a lot more guys, right? See, when women live by themselves, they don't have roommates, they don't have relatives. There's no one there to, I don't want to say keep them accountable, but it's a lot easier to live on your own and not have to do the walk of shame than it is to live with other people. When women live on their own, they are super hoes, plain and simple. Uh, how old and are you? I f- 28. 20, okay, go ahead. 28. See? Here we go. Yes. Um, so I've been living on my own since October. Mm-hmm. Um, and I find that I am the happiest I've been. Um, Do you see how she said that? I've been living on my own. Since October, and I found that I been the happiest I've been. Translation: I'm getting piped down every night with no accountability, and I love it. Listen, man, look, 
We all talk about the fact that women should not give away their bodies to just a bunch of people. Now, it would be disingenuous of me to tell women, hey, listen, man, being a housewife is far more exciting than sleeping around. No, listen, sleeping around and partying and getting on with a bunch of dudes, that is far more exciting than being a housewife will ever be. Far more exciting, right? That doesn't mean it's worth it. Doesn't mean it's worth it. Just working and not... You know, I'm not really out here dating or anything like that. I'm not really out here dating or anything like that. See how she qualified that? I'm not really out here dating or anything like that. If she really weren't out there dating, then she, she, she would have just said, listen, I don't date. I'm not dating. She said, I'm not really dating or anything like that. Maybe she's not dating, but I'll tell you what, she's steady getting piped down. Listen, man, it's, it, listen, man, here, here's the thing, man. And credit to, credit to women, right? Credit to women. Listen, they understand. They understand. They understand that men are gullible. They understand that men don't pick up on these things. So have you ever slept around? Well, not really. The average guy would think, oh, okay, well, she hasn't slept around. No, she says not really. When a woman says not really, it means I have absolutely done something that you are asking me that I did, but I'm trying to throw you off without lying, right? So when he finds out that she what did sleep around, you told me. I asked you if you were sleep if you had ever slept around, you told me no. She's like, no, I said not really. That means I slept around a little bit, which we obviously know means that she slept around a lot. If the answer is anything but up, if, if the answer is anything but negative, it is always affirmative, right? Have you ever had a Noit Roba? Uh, not really. She has. Have you ever been have you ever been a part of a train? Uh, not really. She has. She has. Right? Do not let women qualify. Do not let women qualify statements. Get a hard answer, yes or no. Like that I've had a lot of time to do some self. Mr. B says so. She's just she's just taking the tip. Nah, she's taking dude. She's taking a tip. Dude, she's taking it balls deep. Real talk. Reflection. No, um, no. There okay, is okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Wait, not. What? You know, I'm not really out here dating or anything like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of time to do some self reflection. No, um, no. There okay, is. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I want to I want to rail this in because what you know, I tend to ramble. Sure. Living apart together means you're in a relationship. Devin, if you are watching, shut our animals up. Thank you. Right, right. Are you in a there relationship? Is, I'm not. Um, there yeah. is someone I'm talking to, and the idea uh -oh. of having some someone I'm talking to. Someone I'm talking to. When a woman says she's talking to someone, that means I'm fucking someone. It's dude, women will say I'm seeing someone, I'm talking to. That listen, that's one that black women like to use. Well, I'm talking to this guy. No, you're fucking him, sweetie. Listen, again, just like keep it real. Like, is he smashing you or not? Something like that with this person down the road seems very appealing. And they don't live in the same state. Okay. Do you Oh boy. So now, so now he, she, 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 so she has a, so she has a long distance boyfriend and she's still on the sausage merry-go-round. Ever want to have children? Mm, I, I, I need you guys to listen to this very carefully. Listen to this very carefully. Listen to this very, very carefully. Um, James Ryan says, man says the same thing, bro. Chill out. No, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, James. Go fuck yourself. Somebody time his punk ass out. You don't know shit. Don't come in here acting like you know more than me. Fuck out of here, man. Somebody time him out. Don't kick him out. Time him out. Men say the same things. Fam, this is not a channel that is hypercritical of men. If you want a channel that's hypercritical of men... Go watch Steve the Dean Williams. He'll give you all he'll give you all the criticism you want. Steve the Dean Williams is that dude who likes to blame niggas for not knowing shit.
Go on over to his channel. Don't do do not come up. Dude, do not come up to my channel. Talk about men do it too. The fuck are you, a black woman? Fuck out of here, man. Men says the same thing. Chill out. No, you fucking chill out. It's my goddamn channel. I'll get as hot under the collar as I fucking want. A uh, big Wude Samaj says women are not never fucking someone. Real talk. Oh, he called me Sir Sharp. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Listen to this question that he asks her and, and listen to her response. Just listen. They don't just live listen. in the same state. Okay. Do you ever want to have children? He just asked her, do you ever want to have children? Mm, I think right now the answer is no. She's 28 years old. She's 28 years old. She's on the sausage merry-go-round. She's in a long-distance relationship. Kevin asks her, do you want to have children? She pauses because she knows who she's talking to and says, not right now. This is the problem with women. Bitch, you're 28. You're 28 years old. Like, you ain't got much time. Like, what are we doing? What, like, what are we doing? This is the problem with women. I, dude, I'll never forget. You guys all remember the legendary Fresh and Fit podcast. The legendary Fresh and Fit podcast. It was myself, Rola Tomasi, Aaron Clary, right? Janina, Amanda, and then the other girl. Nobody remembers her. This was that legendary podcast where Kevin called in and absolutely deep fried Amanda. Absolutely cooked her. Just absolutely fucking cooked her. Right? He absolutely cooked her. The most underrated question of the night is when Aaron Clary asked all three women, he said, okay, listen, you guys are all doing what you want to do, but how high is getting married on your list of priorities? They all looked at each other and said, I don't know, three or four. Well, there it was. That's the mentality of modern women. That's the mentality of modern women, guys. The mentality of modern women, their timelines are fucked up. Their timelines are all fucked up. Women, <laughs> women believe foolishly that their biological timeline is the same as a man's. Men, we can reproduce until the day we die. Yes, yes, no. Our sperm at 88 is not going to be the same health as it is at 18. I think we all know that. But guess what? Me at 43 years old, I could father an infinite number of healthy children than a 43-year-old woman with powdered eggs ever could. My timeline is different from a woman's, right? That's the problem with women is that their priorities are all out of line. You are 28 years old. You are clearly on the downslope in terms of your fertility, but you still don't know whether or not you want to have kids. These women, it's like these women truly do not understand that they can't, like there's a finite there's a finite window in which you can have kids. Like women, for whatever reason, think they can give birth into their 80s. No, it doesn't work that way. Well, I know of a woman who gave birth to a child in their 60s. Yeah, the kid was made out of peanut brittle. How'd that work out for him? Kid was, dude, <laughs> the kid was basically Mr. Glass, made out of peanut brittle, had a bunch of allergies. There's no way a 60-year-old woman could ever give birth to a healthy child. 60-year-old man could absolutely father a healthy kid. Real talk. 28 years old. Her answer was, not right now. I don't see myself having children. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so the person that you're living, the, the person you will be considering living apart from, where do they live? Um, they live in the Midwest, and I'm oh. out in California. She's out in California. Out in California. Aye, aye, aye. All right. So when was the last time you had a relationship? Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, so my last relationship ended um, in March of 2020. Uh -huh. How long did that last? That relationship was going on two and a half years, so just over two years. So she's Filipino, right? She's Filipino. Um, not a bad-looking girl, but again, she's clearly on the wrong side of 25. Why don't you guys get married? Um, because 
I, and I think this is why me being single has been so good for me. Um, this is why being single has been so good for me. Well, tell us, tell us. You got to get to he, it, man. You gotta yeah. Get to it. Come on. Yeah. He, um, um, he was just not, um, somebody that I got into a relationship with for the right reason. He's not somebody I got into a relationship with for the right reasons. He was hot and he cheated. That's it. Guys, again, again, we always wonder why do young hot girls always go for the alpha chats? Why do, why do young hot girls always go for the, well, because it's because of our society. It's because of our womanist culture, guys. When women are young and hot, they prioritize physical genes. When they're old and used up, they prioritize resourceful genes. The reason why they don't prioritize resourceful genes when they're young is because they think they can still have the guys with the good physical genes when they're in their 30s. Again, women, you can have it all. You can wait, da 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 But then when they hit 35, they're like, well, wait a minute. The guys who wanted to smash me at 25 aren't living, aren't, aren't, aren't hollering at me anymore. Guys, this happens again and again and again. These girls continue to make the same mistakes. It's crazy. And so it just wasn't... I, I think it, it's mostly on me. You know, it's on me. All right. So it sounds like to me like you don't want to be a wife. You don't want to have kids. And you don't sound like you really know what a relationship is. <laughs> Price Friday says alpha sprays beta pays. <laughs> That's a good one. I haven't heard of that one. Alpha sprays, alpha spray, beta pay. That's a good one. Right. You, well, you just want to have somebody to have sex with from time to time? I mean, yeah, that would be nice. There you go. That's it. This girl wants, listen, man, what just happened? This girl wants to be a hoe without paying the price. Listen, this girl wants to be a hoe while still in a relationship. She just sat here and told us the reason why her last relationship failed and about how she felt she was missing something. And Kevin said, wait a minute. What, you just want somebody to have sex with? Well, yeah. That, that's what it is. That's what a girl wants. Girls want to be hoes without paying the price. But All right. I think, I mean, look, that's what the whole point of it. See? See? There we go. He, that's the whole point is. That's it. Yeah. She always says she just wants to have fun. Yeah, she just wants to be a hoe. That's it. That's it. That's all she wants to be. She took us all, dude, she took us all around the mulberry bush. All around the mulberry bush trying to act like all this interest. No, mm -mm, you just want to be a hoe, but still be attached to someone. Just say that. And and I'm going to be honest. You're coming across a little bit socially awkward. Okay. Which is fine. And it, mm -hmm. A lot of people are socially awkward today, but this is what living apart together is. But you get, you get, you get what you get in this situation. That's now. right. Because mm -hmm. here's the downside to this, though. Um. Here we go. Once you reach 45, the, the, the game shifts for men and women. I actually disagree with Kevin. I think it's 35. I think it's 35. I think once you reach 35, the game shifts for men and women. Maybe not quite as drastically as 45, but yeah, I think it's 35. So you spend the next 10 years with somebody thinking you're living apart together. Charles Merchant. <laughs> One of the old school TSROGs. It is very good to see you in here, my friend. Uncomfortable Truth, $5. Says, thank you for your breakdowns. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. You're like the big brother. Every only child needed. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Keontae Spears says, CC veterans. And you're just cool. And then. Oh, TechnoMage B5 says, I think Kevin misspoke. He said 35 in the past. Okay. All right. I got you. Okay. Yeah, this is probably a Freudian slip. And you're not married, no kids. And he comes and says, hey, Mary, <laughs> love this last decade. But I'm 40 now and I got salt and pepper gray hair. And I got women from 21 to 60. Ugh. Deuces. <laughs> and you've spent no time developing relationship skills nope. or anything like that. Nope. And what do you think the likelihood of finding somebody to finish our life with at that rate? Yeah. See, that's the downside that's of the living apart together. It sounds good to you independent women because you don't have to living apart together, having a boyfriend, but still being able to be a hoe. To push yourself to become any better, you have to evolve 
But when your youth and beauty run out, so does your leverage on the market. There it is. There it is. Right. There it is. Right. You will. And so as an, so as an adult, you have to be willing to weigh the risks. There you go. Mm-hmm. Here's the problem with modern women. They don't think there are risks. They don't think there are risks, men. Yeah, Millennium says she wants to ride the CC without paying the price. Yeah, that's that's literally what this is. That's it. Right. Because hmm. you weren't thinking about that, were you? Nope. You weren't thinking about when you turned forty-five or fifty. Nope. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. She's not thinking about what. She's not thinking about when she's turning thirty-five or forty. She thinks she's still got all the time in the world. I'm twenty-eight. I mean, right, of course, because okay. 45, 50, it's hard to know, right? Like, well, no, no, it, no. One thing that we do know is know. the happiness curve flips for yep. men and women. M- women's mm-hmm. drops and men's incre- increases. That's right. Right. There are no things called silver foxes. Oh, my God. Is that a cat in the background? That is funny as hell. By the way, he said there's no such thing as silver foxes. No, there's not. As uh, uh, as 45-year-old women. But George Clooney, guys like that, Silver Foxes, uh, life is fucking great for me. That's right. Mm-hmm. I, would, I wouldn't trade these years for my 20s for nothing in Hell. the world. Hell no. Hell to the no. He- Dude, Kevin is speaking facts. Kevin is speaking facts. Dude, th- Dude, the older I get, the better my life gets. My teen years were okay, right? They were as good as they could have been. My 20s were miserable. I didn't know shit. I wasn't worth shit. I was married. My 30s were a little bit better because that's when I ceased to become a civilian. My 40s are kicking ass. My 40s are kicking ass. Uh, Charles Faulkner Jr., $5, says, Woo, I'm 39. And I said, says, Woo, I'm 39 in shape and women can't keep their hands off me. Life is great. It's not fun when the rabbit gets the gun. Men age like a fine yak. Real talk. Real talk, man. Real talk. Actually just started out uh, another testosterone replacement therapy cycle, so I should be getting my shit tight here pretty soon. World. So what I'm saying is living apart together has its potential allures, but you got to think about it for a lifetime. Mm-mm. Right. Uh, yeah, this is, this I... I Look, it's so funny. Like you can see it in her face. Even though Kevin is telling her this, she still have she still cannot fully wrap her mind around it. She's like, I just can't see this happening. Go ahead. Uh, to this person, is that their name is Macy. You got to take that thing off your head and show your entire face. Uh, go ahead. Right, full of semen. Um, yeah, I guess when you mentioned the thing about what are the fears, you know, uh-huh. I think for me, based on my past relationships, the fears of moving in and being close with another person is that I would lose myself in that relationship. And I know that I've been trying to do work with that, you know, because you mean lose yourself. Yeah. Right. Um, I find that I'm much more, um, vibrant and exuberant and living my life. See guys, listen, Kevin is trolling her with the meow, 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 meow song. Okay. But listen, I know it'll be hard, but listen to what she's saying because what she says is very poignant. Listen, listen. Um, I. The reason why she doesn't want to get lost in the relationship. All right, here we go. I find that I'm much more um, yeah, vibrant yeah, and yeah, exuberant yeah, and yeah, living my life yeah, and being healthier yeah, when I'm not in a relationship. And I think that's, I mean, I think that's a reflection of who I was dating before for sure and who I was at the time. But so I know that I'm working on that. But I- see what she just said through that funny as hell skit there is that when I'm not in a relationship, I'm more boisterous, I'm more exuberant and blah, 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 blah. Well, yes, of course, because you're out collecting sausages. Get lost in my relationship. Translation, have to be accountable to somebody. You see, when I'm in a relationship, Kevin, I have to be accountable. I can't just go off and smash who I want to smash. I got to be accountable to somebody. This is why she likes us living apart together and why Kevin just trolled her with the meow mix. But my man, my man, were your mother and father married? Yes. Yes. All right. You come across as a little neurotic. <laughs> it's okay. okay. But, okay. Uh, but, but, but. Kevin is, dude, he's a better man than me, dude. He said, you come across as, uh, as a little neurotic. He said, that's okay. 
Me, I'd have been like, bitch, you're neurotic. This is why Kevin has a million subscribers and I'm losing them. <laughs> Thing is, your last relationship did not work. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say something to you and I'm going to speak to all women. Uh-oh, here it comes. Through you. Modern women, you are far too weak. Y'all act like if one thing doesn't work out, it's the end of the world. And you want to judge all men in our relationships through the prism of that failure. You guys wanted independence. So you're going to have to deal with rejection. And you're going to have to build up tolerance. Because if you're going to say, well, I think I, I would just be better off living this way. Okay. But it leaves you exposed in your later years. Right. No children. Okay. This is funny. Listen to this. What women do you know who are single, childless, over 45 years old, mm. and happy is the norm for those women? I need the crickets. Look. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, I don't know. It's hard it's to not, know. It's know. not. It's not hard to know. It's not. See? She's like, it's, it's hard to know. No, it isn't hard to know. It isn't hard to know. See how she just bull see how she just tried to bullshit him? Kevin asked her a straight up question. How many single women over the age of 45 with no children are truly happy? She's like, it's hard to know, bitch. You know. And that's why Kevin is like, it's not hard to know. All right. Go to Korea, go to Japan, okay. and look at those. Go to Korea and Japan and watch both of those countries die. And you'll see a bunch of women who living together. Asian women who yep. are Florists, yep. teachers, yep. miserable, Living all have cats, <laughs> all socially awkward, never learned how to get along. Uh, in, in China, it's called leftover women. See, mm -hmm. in Japan, they call that Christmas cake. You are the female of the species. You're the one that's supposed to be socially adept. You're lacking in these areas. And unfortunately, that has a cost. Woo! And if you don't get that together the co the cost is going to be spinster oh and spinster is a long time <laughs> you're 28 life expectancy for the american woman is uh where your where your, what nationality ethnicity Filipino. okay 80 plus mm. that's a long life mm -mm -mm. Long life. Yes. Yep. Uh-huh. So I'm saying make a choice. But unfortunately, well, fortunately, I think I think it's very fortunate that women have to get the, the major parts of their life together earlier. But for the most part, women have fought to be independent. Okay. You now you have to deal with biology not being your friend. That's right. Mm-hmm. And you cannot tell me that it's a case by case basis where you see groups of women over 40 years single with no children as the norm, because that's not what tends to make the female females happy. Nope. What tends to make females happy is family and relationships and community. Right. Yeah. All right. I guess in my in my mind, like I want the relationship, but I don't I, I have In my mind, I want the relationship, but I don't. Translation, I want the relationship, but I still want to sleep around. That is literally all this is. It, dude, shout out to Kevin for exercising <laughs> Jedi level patience with this chick, right? And this is why he is where he is. This is why he is where he is, right? Because he has this kind of patience. But I would lose patience very quickly with women like her, right? Like if I asked her, listen, how many 45-year-old single women with no children do you know that are happy? Well, that's hard to know. I'd have been like, dude, fucking really hard to know. Like, bitch, you like, you know, the answer to that. Like, quit bullshitting me. That fear of um, it well, not working. Well, the fear of it not working. Really? I so, get it. So fear yeah. of failure. And mm -hmm. this is what I mean. You ladies are too weak. You know what you should fear? <laughs> um, dying, alone. dying alone there it is mm -hmm. that's why that cat sitting over there like i can't marry you 